Hey, this is Swagger is doing Hunted for GameGuideCentral.com, and this is the second half of the prologue. We just did our first talkie talk with the uh, dead dude with our death stone, and now we're beating on some skeletons. And we're coming up on our first hidden area, secrets. There are tons of secrets and hidden stuff. Gold in this game is different. You don't buy stuff with your gold. Um, it just goes to the crucible. The more gold you have, you can unlock more things and create in your maps. Weapons are found on these weapon racks. You just hit it, and it's random for the player who destroys. So don't get greedy and just go um, taking them all down. Your your partner needs some too if you're playing co-op. First secret area right here on the left on this um, these weeds. Knock these down. And then go through, and then there's gold on the ground on the left, and a chest with gold on the right. The swamps of despair. And just uh, go around here, and there's the first bag. Ten point ten there, and then down back here, there's another little bag. And that shows you, hey, that's where those. Uh, so we just got the crystals. We just could have jumped through there and saved ourselves about half an hour. Five there, and then uh, run all the way to the far side. <laughs> running, 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 running for no reason. And here we go. And 20 gold there. You need 500 for the first level. And now we're just running all the way back so we can continue on. And picked up a health file, that's nice. Another weapon rack here. Same. And then uh, drop down. There's a lot of drop downs, so always make sure you have done everything you want to do before you move on. One more little spider puppy. And then we're going to learn about co-op, making people do stuff. There's our axe we want. They can fell a tree in one hit. And these little posters are going to be around there, little hints on what to do. Must first ignite the burning flame. So you can tell your co-op partner what to do, so just hit B to tell her to light up her fire, her arrows. And then uh, zoom in over here and tell her, hey, hey. Put a flame there. Light that on fire. She's With like, pleasure. I can do that for you. One shot. Oh yeah. And then just cross over and get the axe. The axe of Delane. And what it has is, um, is it? It has like ten, um, ten charges of like ice attack. So it'll just frost people and kill them like that. But you're just gonna be fighting skeletons. So, but then even as a basic act, it's still better than what you had. Come on, let the spirit guide show the way. Big jump. No going back. Walking's for wussies. You will come to guys with shields like this and it's, you can um, kind of roll underneath and hit them from the back side. You'll still do damage, you just won't do as much. They'll block a lot of it. Oh, 
Oh, she stole that kill from me. She's gonna steal that one too. Let that be a lesson to all of you. Come on, let's go, lady. I got five charges left. And it's not something you can activate or deactivate, so I got five charges left. When it's done, it's done. There's one, two, two apparently. Ah, I'm getting hit. Then these guys have a bunch of junk shields, so don't worry about it. So now it's just a normal axe. You don't have to change it. And it's saved, so you know you're fine. Help a partner out here. Nice. Now you're gonna come around the corner, and you're gonna see your uh, chick again, and she's gonna give you magic for a short time. We'll be able to buy some, not as powerful as what we have here. And it's just a right bumper to arm it, and then right bumper to fire it again. Oh no, look at all those guns. Oh, it doesn't even matter because we fall down the pit. This is the pit from your dream. Crazy. So really, all you want to do here is keep moving so skeletons don't get up behind you. And uh, just keep blasting the right bumper. Blasty, blasty, blasty. Okay, and now there there is a mana potion in here. You've gotten your power taken away from you, but you can still fill up for fun. And then you actually that that statue right there. You actually want to uh, move that. We're going to take a secret way instead of the main way. Um, there's a torch right there. I didn't take it at first. I suggest you do. It'll make um, moving through here a lot better. If you pick up a torch, um, any fire pit you see there, you can. It's actually better than the weapon I have. I didn't even realize that. But yeah, so now I got to go through this dark spot down here. And there's there's two sets. There's two more sets of gold down here. And then there's a shortcut back area that has a crystal. So, but once you pick this stuff up, it's gone. If you miss something and you come back, the gold will already have been picked up. You can just get new stuff. So there's five more gold there. And then there's some at the end, the opposite end. And I'm going to go get the torch because uh, it's dark in here. Check down this side path, nothing. Skeletons are coming. And there you go, five more for 45 in the prologue. And again, it's dark. So pick up the torch, light it on fire, and then you can uh, tell tell Elena to uh, light it on fire too. And we just need to go where this first where that first bed of gold was. There's a back area, and uh, we're gonna go through there. Skeletons. 
And yeah, just go up here. The more fire if you manage to lose your fire. And then we're going to go through this back cavern. And you just take this wooden plank all the way around to our third and final crystal. Woo! Nothing down there. And if you had gone the quote unquote correct way, the way that doesn't get you anything cool, you would have come out down down below there. That's not Okay, so now for the end you need to get her to fire on both of these ropes. That's, That's gonna release that center pillar. And then Caddick can push it over to get out of here. Oh, that wall looks very crumbly. If we can find a way to break through it. So you gotta wait for her to shoot him down if you're playing single player. Take a shot at that. There's one. There's two. And then uh oh a demon is coming. So yeah, let's let's get this. Let's get this thing pushed down right away. Boom, and then you'll automatically run out of here. Uh, then you're gonna have a long, one more long scene, not a very good English, you know, Another scene with the chick, and then you're gonna be able to use her to get uh, magic spells and increase your weaponry. I went with um, the Dragon's Breath um, that we'd been using the shock, and then I increased, I believe, the power of it. And then just give it a direction. I did it the same as it was. Yes, increased power. Oh, yeah. And what's cool is that you get the crystals for both people. So both people have three crystals every time. And her, I believe I gave her armor bashing. At the bottom, arcane burst, armor piercing. And yeah, you do have to activate that. And then let's do uh, rip through the armor and flesh causing increased damage. <laughs> 